How do you make a cool UI main menu in Dreams PS4? What is up? We are going to discuss this right now. So before we even start, UI design or UX design even, uh, both of them are kind of the same thing, sort of not. Um, it's pretty much about making a map that conveys information to the player as quickly and efficiently and easy to get as possible. So notice the biggest things are the most important things in there first, and that kind of thing can display information. Animations can also display an, uh, information such as when we are hovered above something, it lights up, but it also does that indication with the animation box. So that is also something that can be known before we even get into the logic of this. I have a camera right here that mean that's making it to where I can't move anywhere else with the imp and I also have the imp on hide imps within the camera. You can also use global game settings. I have a sun and sky right here. You can look at my settings, pause the video if you want to. And then we have our text displayer boxes. Before we get into the text displayer boxes, let's talk about this control sensor. I have the control sensor set to remote. That means a puppet does not need to possess it in order for it to be able to be used. Then I have the left stick plugged into the import or this side of a splitter. The Y of the splitter, the up and down is plugged into the A of two calculators. One's on less than, one's on greater than. Um, I might be getting my signs messed up, but the sign that looks like this, plug it into here, and the sign that looks like this, plug it into here. Pretty much it makes it to where it'll go up and down the way it needs to go. Next, you'll want to plug your A into either the power of um, the text boxes or you can do it like I have it, plug them into an action recorder to where the action recorder is the indication. This action recorder, let me scope in, is what is actually making this box around this menu upsize. So with this action recorder, while I was recording, I did this. Something like that. And then I also made it to where this action recorder changes the opacity. So this one could be the one that's upsizing and the other one could be the one that's changing the opacity. this right here. I might have them mixed up, but that's pretty much what they're doing. And then once I was done, I clicked this, 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 and grouped them all together, all four of them, and then I cloned it three separate times. Then for the other ones, I plugged the B into one and then the C into one. And that's how I did that. For this right here, these keyframes are what's changing the brightness of this right here, of these things. So you can change the brightness of each and every one of the text inside of these boxes and then plug them into the pr appropriate outports on the selector. The brightness should be able to be found right here. So while the keyframe is recording, just slide that to the side as much as you need. And effectively, that is how I did that. And then I just search for some music in the Dreamverse. And 
right then and there, you are pretty much done with your main menu layout. What you can do next is actually pull out an AND gate if you wanted to go to a new room. Choose whichever one needs to be selected and then combine that with whatever button you press to select. Then you'll want to find your doorway gadget. And we'll test it out. So if I press X on versus, there's no doorway here. If I press it on quit, there's no doorway here. Press it on story. It works. I accidentally pressed don't save. What? But that is how you do that. And you can do that with every last one of these things that are selected. And then all you have to do is look up my how to link levels or my level linking tutorial or my doorway tutorial. It's called one of the one, one of those Dreams PS4 doorway tutorial. And you can see how to effectively make dreams in Dreams PS4 to where you can link your levels to the next one. You can also do transitions with the camera to where if you want to do all everything in one scene, you can have the tra camera transition over here if you want to. And there can be more text dialogue boxes that you can mess around with. And whenever it transitions, you'll want all this stuff to power off. And then you'll want a new thing to power on, a new set of these. These are my settings for my text displayer. You can pause the video if you want to. Here's the settings for this one. I press space inside of every last one of these boxes. At least I should have. And I usually put in scene and always on. Well, I think I did that with the uh, boxes that are uh, the outline boxes. I put always on top. But I press these two for all the rest of them, just so you guys know, and so on. And then I just made my name of my game, placed it there with some of the settings on the other text displayer boxes that I just now told you. And that's how I did it. So this is how you can make cool main menus in Dreams PS4. I previously made this tutorial, but I kind of wanted to update it to where it's more, um, so you guys can see more of the aesthetic you can do in Dreams. You can really do a whole lot of stuff, like technically with these text displayer boxes, you could do pixel art and stuff like that. It's really just taking the time out to do it. I would say maybe draft it out on a piece of paper where you want all your stuff to be first and then go about it. And then maybe even look up some UI main menu tutorials um, on YouTube and stuff like that. That way you can learn from professionals if you want to take this further. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I guess I can show you my game that I'm working on. The game, you know, represented by the UI. It's me on Dreams. Follow me on Dreams. I'm Young Tech's YouTube on Dreams. Subscribe. All that great stuff. And this right here is one of the characters that I'm creating in my game. So I really want this one to be multiplayer. I can't wait to get that aspect into the game. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and peace out. If there was anything that was a little confusing, just ask me in the comment section below. Um, I did not put the selectors into the power of the uh, text box displayers. I, I put them into uh, ac uh, the action recorder instead. So you can put them into the power of the text displayer and also the opacity of the text displayer. It depends on how you wanted to do it. I want to show you guys different mechanisms and ways to do things with your UI because UI is very important. It's the thing that you're going to be seeing over your game most of the time. Even RPGs like the stats and stuff, that's UI. The level up system, the button press thing that you might see, especially with classic uh, RPGs. 
po like Pokemon, that's a UI. So UI is very important. It's one of the most prominent things you will see in video games. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Dreams and peace out. Don't forget to make some or choose some good music.